Hello, hello. Welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive in architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined today with a woman who loves it when the weatherman predicts clouds. Hey, Rakshana, how are hey, you doing? Hey, Rob. Excited to be here. So today we are talking about serverless image handler. What exactly is SIH? The serverless image handler solution enables customers to achieve dynamic image processing and manipulation using AWS services. The solution is fast, cost effective, and has internet scale. That's awesome. So what organizations would be interested in something like this? The solution is going to be perfect for customers who manage websites and mobile apps to service their end customers. These companies will typically end up having to maintain hundreds or even thousands of images, which is going to be a lot of overhead to manage. But don't worry, that's exactly where serverless image handler comes into play and shines. That's awesome. So let's take a closer look at serverless image handler. Let's do it. All right, Rakshana, let's talk about serverless image handler. Let's, what's going on as part of this architecture? Yeah, sure. So I have the solution landing page open for serverless image handler. This page is a wealth of resources. Uh, so you're going to find the architecture diagram here, mm -hmm. which talks about how we have designed the solution. Then there's also a link from this page to do a one-click deployment of the solution in your AWS account. That's with the CloudFormation template, yep. all right? Exactly. Great. Then there's also a link to the deployment guide, which is more like an instruction manual on how to uh, do a step-by-step -step deployment of the solution and work with the solution. That's cool. So it simplifies it so even my dad can deploy it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> And then there's also a link to the source code on GitHub from here. Good. So customers could actually download and customize it. Yeah, to whatever their business need is. Neat. All right. So let's get into the solution architecture. OK. So it all starts with an Amazon CloudFront, mm -hmm. which is going to be used for global content delivery. And this is going to be sitting behind the websites and the mobile apps that customers are going to use. Uh, the interesting thing about CloudFront is that it also provides a layer of caching, okay. where it's going to store some of the frequently requested images and just pull the images from here for customers whenever they, they load their websites or the mobile apps. So, so it actually doesn't have to reprocess an image that's already processed before. Yeah. It's caching and storing it. Yeah, that's totally. cool. So this provides a super fast response for customers, and it greatly improves the customer user experience. That's awesome. What else is going on? And then we also have the Amazon API Gateway, mm -hmm. which has the endpoint resources. And this triggers the AWS Lambda whenever the website is loaded by customers. So Lambda is the serverless and serverless image handler. <laughs> exactly. All right. So being serverless, it increases the agility as well as lowers the cost for customers. Uh, and what the AWS Lambda function is going to do when it gets triggered is to retrieve any of the images that customer have in their S3 bucket. Okay. And it's going to do the dynamic processing and manipulation of the images using an open source image processing and manipulation module called Sharp. So the first time that a customer actually requests this image, that's when the processing happened, but then it's cached in CloudFront. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So all of these images are dynamically done whenever the customers request for the uh, whenever customers load their websites mm -hmm. or the mobile apps and this sends the request here. So how can we test this, Rakshana? Great question. So we have a demo UI okay. that you can also deploy as part of the solution. Mm -hmm. This is a completely optional feature, uh, but this is just to demonstrate how you know the end-to-end -end workflow is going to look like, um, and it's going to show how you can import the images from your S3 bucket, what sort of edits you can perform, and we have some illustrative you know edits that that you can perform here. Customers can choose to add more edits. Okay, and you can also see how the final image is going to look like, and how the JSON body of the image request is going to change, and finally, how the encoded URL is going to look like that's going to be sitting behind these images. That's awesome. So do you have a test image we can look at? Yeah. So I have a deployment done. All right. And I have a test bucket set up. So I'm going to import an image from here. Hey. This is what we have. <laughs> Looks familiar. That's yeah. my dog. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Adorable. So. Yeah. What now? What types of edits can we do to this? Yeah, so you can do a lot of uh, changes to the width, height. You can resize it mm -hmm. completely, uh, change the color, do smart cropping, so on and so forth. So let me just do an example. All right. Uh, so <clears throat> let me change the width, and let me probably resize this to fit, you know, a smaller screen layout. So this is more for a mobile device. Yeah, so mobile, you actually... tablets, so on and so forth. Nice. So let's preview this. Oh, wow. So <laughs> yeah. now that fits a more mobile-centric type of exactly. device experience. Exactly. And this is how the JSON body of the image request is going to change. Okay. And this is what is going to be packaged into this encoded URL. 
which is basically a combination of the API endpoint for mm -hmm. the image handler as well as this encoded uh, image request in the JSON format. This is the URL that's going to be sitting behind the images on your websites and mobile apps. Awesome. So you mentioned smart cropping. What exactly is going on with that? Yeah, that's a fun feature. It's a secret reveal. Um, let me show you that. So smart cropping basically leverages Amazon recognition, which provides the facial recognition capabilities to mm -hmm. identify the facial features and just crop that part out. From so the AI on my actual dog? Yeah, okay. why not? That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I've enabled smart cropping. Let's see how it works. Oh, nice. So it's actually able to dynamically zoom in on my dog. And yeah. you didn't have to train it to do that at all. No, not at all. Yeah. That's pretty so impressive. It's pretty out of the box. Um, and these are all illustrative uh, edits on the images. You can continue to add more edits. And you can see how the image body as well changes dynamically. That's pretty cool. So serverless image handler, talk to me about some of the benefits. So firstly, it provides a super fast experience for customers. Mm -hmm. and it's a cost-effective way of managing thousands of images on all your websites and mobile apps. And it provides internet scale. Well, thank you so much for talking about Serverless Image Handler with me. Thank you. Serverless Image Handler enables companies to provide a great user experience for their customers while also reducing the cost for dynamically processing and storing multiple images. To check out Serverless Image Handler and all of our other solutions, go to our AWS Solutions page. Thanks, and see you next time. Have a good one.